welcome back guys so as you know we are currently doing this atomic and molecular quick revision and this is part 6 and in this part we will be talking about spectroscopic term symbol for non equivalent electron so in the last video we talked about equivalent electron and in this video we are talking about the spectroscopic term for non equivalent electron spectroscopic terms for non equivalent electrons so i think the difference is clear what are non electron non equivalent electrons and what are equivalent electrons equivalent electrons are from the same subset okay whose l values are same if l values are different then that will be non equivalent electrons so the first case which you wanna consider is atoms with one optical electron one optical electron for an example if you have hydrogen atom then one electron is there so we represent it by one s okay n value is equals to one and s value so l is equals to zero corresponding to s what about s one electron so spin is half and that is why so what is capital s capital s is small s here that is half and what about capital L capital L is small l because there is only one option so j will be l plus s so that is half so the term symbol will be 2s plus 1 lj let's me let me reiterate it let me reiterate it again 2s plus 1 lj this is called level and if you are only mentioning 2s plus 1 l without mentioning j that is called term okay so this will be 2s half this is for atoms with only one optical electron let's say we are considering the second case atoms with two or more number of electrons two or more non equivalent optical electrons non equivalent optical electrons so let's consider the first case with one sorry two electron one from 4p subcell p subcell another from d subcell one electron from p subcell another electron from d sub d subcells for the first electron what you can write s1 one electron so spin will be half what is l1 l1 okay let's consider s first s1 spin of the first electron what is the spin of the second electron again half because one one electron okay so total spin angular momentum will become either zero or one next and our orbital quantum number l1 we can for p it is one l2 for d s p d 0 1 2 so the corresponding values of l will become one two three so there is no restriction the in the previous case we told that for equivalent electron is those electron from the same subcell they have the restriction that even s will only combine with even l odd s will only combine with odd l but there is no restriction here even s can combine with odd l or even l as well so there is no restriction okay so one can combine with one two or three as well zero can combine with one two and three as well so what are the terms we can expect here so firstly if we consider s is equals to 1 l is equals to 1 then what will be the value of j j will be 0 1 and 2 and consequently the terms will be 3p 0 1 2 levels let's say s equals to 1 and l is equals to 2 then the value of j will be 1 2 3 and the corresponding where terms will be spectroscopic terms will be 3d 1 2 3 right let's consider s is equals to 1 l is equals to 3 then corresponding j value will be 2 3 4 so the values will be 3f 2 3 4 and in the same manner if you combine with 0 s is equals to 0 s is equals to 0 l equals to 1 
then L equals to 2 and L is equals to 3 consequently we will get J equals to 1 J equals to 2 J is equals to 3 and the terms spectroscopic term will be 1 P 1 1 to S plus 1 is equals to 1 here 1 D 2 and 1 F 3 so in this way you can determine the spectroscopic term for two electrons non equivalent electrons so the second case is terms with three non equivalent electrons this is the second case terms with or for three non equivalent electrons So, for an example, we can take the case of 3D, 4S, 4P. So, three electrons we have. So, firstly, let us write this value for one one electron each each of them. So, half, half, half. So, correspondingly, S value will be half, half, 3 by 2. Just you have to take the combination. So, it will give you two doublet and one quadrat. Doublet means you show 2S plus 1. 2 into half plus 1 so this is 2 that is why it is called doublet for 3 by 2 2 s plus 1 is equals to 2 into 3 by 2 plus 1 that is 4 so that is why it is called quadrant so 2 doublet 1 quadrant next if you talk about the l values for d it is 2 l2 s it is 0 l3 p is equals to 1 so l values will be 1 2 and 3 p d f state so you will get the spectroscopic terms spectroscopic terms like this 2 2p 2p half 3 by 2 you will get it 2 times then 2d 3 by 2 5 by 2 you will get it 2 times then you will get 2f 5 by 2 7 by 2 which will also get 2 times for this doublet thing and you will get 4p half 3 by 2, 5 by 2 and so on, 4D, half, 3 by 2, 5 by 2, 7 by 2 and 4F, 3 by 2, 5 by 2, 7 by 2 and 9 by 2. So I hope you understood how to tackle the situation for 3 non-equivalent electrons. So let me let me show you some picture which will help you to understand it more clearly look at this picture this is the 4p 4d level and part of level so we got s1 s2 l1 l2 and we got the different values of s one value we got 0 and another value we got s equals to 1 so this is spin spin correlation energy and next by combining s and l we got j okay now so we got the terms 1p 1d 1f okay 2s plus 1 l j this was the level and 2s plus 1 l this was the term so 1p 1d 1f 3p 3d 3f this is because of the residual electrostatic energy next spin orbit magnetic energy so this j depending on the j value this 1p is split into 1p 1 1d is split into 1d 2 1f is split into 1f 3 3p 3p0, 3p1, 3p2. You can see 3d, 3d, 3d1, 3d2, 3d3. 3f, 3f4, 3f3, 3f2. I think uh, if you are not able to see, I am just moving it up so that you can easily see it. So this figure tells you everything. Whatever we have done, it just tell you what is the region and how it is getting splitted. So I hope you have understood everything. If you have any query, you can let me know in the comment section. And guys here uh, a problem is given in the ls coupling scheme the terms arising from two non-equivalent p electrons so we have already uh, okay non-equivalent p, p electrons we have done for 4p 4d for two non-equivalent p electrons means hot it is a pp configuration let's see if you get 2p then another from 3p so these are two non-equivalent P electrons, so, so not from the same subset. You have to remember this one. 
So for this PP configuration, S1, S2 is equal to half up, so S will be 0, 1. L1, L2, 1, 1, L equals to 0, 1, 2. And in the same manner, this is non-equivalent electron, so there is no restriction that it will combine with only even and only what it can combine with any even and odd same so combining s equals to 0 s equals to 0 s equals to 0 with l equals to 0 1 2 you get these terms combining s equals to 1 l equals to 0 s equals to 1 l equals to 1 s equals to 1 l equals to 2 you get this value and correspondingly this term so in the simple way you can all get option d so if you have understood these things you will be easily able to solve this problem so guys before ending this video let me just tell you as this academic goal is going on, you can get 20% off plus up to one month extension on CSR EGC net, sub CSR net subscription. This is this offer is expiring today, May 31st. So you can go for December 2023 or June 2024 subscription plans. Uh, you can see these plans and this extra benefits you get if you apply this referral code physics app, KHYSICHUV, you will be given maximum benefits. This is my profile on an academy. You can just follow my profile and you will get all the nine units of CSR net physical science syllabus starting from mathematical methods to nuclear and particle all the nine units are available so to complete for the complete physical science syllabus only one subscription using this referral code physics hub will enable you to watch and download the live and recordings of all the csr category educators including me and a lot of benefits are there of doing an academic class subscription like you get daily live classes part line and full length and assignment detailed solution proper structured course and many other benefits you can just pause and read so this is all for this video guys thank you very much the background noise is too much disturbing anyway the video is here uh, we are ending this video here so if you are new to this channel please subscribe to the channel don't forget to press the bell icon guys thanks for watching